Hi ladies, Claire back again um, with part 15 of our series. Um, I'd just like to say thanks very much to all of you that have watched this series so far. I know it's really long. Um, and thank you so much for all of the comments that you've sent. Um, I've had loads and uh, I really, really appreciate them all. I know I can't reply to everyone, but thanks very much. Um, the last page we did was using the On The Edge dies and now we're going to turn that over and make this page. So there's a flap that lifts up, there's a book and a photo mat which fits in, oh, you can't see, <laughs> sorry, fits in here and a book that fits in the pocket. You can put as many bits and pieces inside as you like, um, but this is how I made the original. So let me take you through what um, you need to make it. So first of all your page, make sure that it's the right way up. And then you need a piece of paper to cover the page. And this was from the three R's, 12 by 12, cut at 7 and 3 quarters by 5 and 3 quarters. And then you need a piece of card for the flap that is 8 inches long by 5 inches wide. And we're going to stick that down and then take the ruler and spotty border from the school days 8x8 paper and put that over the top like that. To cover this, I used grammar school paper in my original one. Um, but I've decided to use something different for this one, so I've just cut a piece of um, paper, again a quarter of an inch smaller than the size of the flap. Oh, I forgot to say as well, this flap is eight inches long and scored at one inch to give you the fold over. Onto that we're going to put one of the ABC panels. This is from the 12 by 12 sheet and a label, also from the 12 by 12 um, school days sheet and tab to lift it up and down, that one will go at the bottom and then inside we've got a semicircle cut out of one of the scraps and either the clocks or a ruler whichever you want to use and that just secures the photo mat inside. Then we're going to make a pocket the pocket was uh, made from a piece of card that is six by three inches and then I've just tapered a slanting cut across it at no particular angle, it was just cut roughly and then I've cut a piece of paper out that fits over the top of that to decorate and I've put some tape on the back to stick that down. And then the book is a piece of card that is eight inches by five and a half. I've folded it in half and uh, creased it with my bone tool and just ticket cut the corners. To go on the front of that I've cut a piece of paper that again is a quarter of an inch shorter all the way around than the front cover and then cut out, this is for, again from the 12 by 12 sheet, the Seesaw Girls and U is for Up. That's going to go on the front and then inside, I've done this already, two pieces of note paper and two more cutouts that I've just stuck down just to save time. And then on the back of that book I put the ABC Primer cutout um, from the 12 by 12 sheet. So let me take you through and show you how we stuck it all together, or I stuck it all together. And I'll try and get this done within the 15 minutes, um, so that the video loads up. Okay, so first of all, we're going to stick down the base paper. It's already inked, and I'm just going to um, use my ATG. get you one in the middle. Uh, let's make sure that it's the right way up as so I'm working upside down and stick it down. Okay. 
and then we're going to take the flap and that's going to sit right at the top of the paper. You can put it to the left, to the right, I'm going to put mine in the centre. So you want to put some tape on that side of the flap and you need to put it as near up to the fold as possible so that the flap keeps its shape. Okay, let me just catch that under. make sure it's the right way up. I'm paranoid about that. Okay, and I'm going to position this right at the top of the paper that I've just stuck onto the page. It's about central. Okay, and then onto that I'm going to stick the cover paper. Let's just glue that again. I hope you're all going to load your videos up onto your channels once you've made the books. I know there's uh, a fair few people working through that have ordered papers and are, um, if they haven't started already, going to make this book. And I'd love to see them when they're finished. Because everybody adds, adds their own um, look to what we do. Right, I'm just going to stick the tab down, so I'm just inking that, and that's going to sit at the bottom here. I bought myself a new vintage photo ink pad, and it's brilliant. I'm going to just use my ATG on that, because I haven't got any wet glue out. And one down the middle. It's a bit fiddly, but... bottom. Press it down. Just ink it again. And now we're going to add the two panels onto the flap. Okay, let's just ink those. These have all been, um, had the edges inked as well, just to save time. I wish I was this organised when I made the original album. I wasn't. I was making it up as I went along and uh, it's been quite difficult to remake it. <laughs> okay, let's stick that on. And then I'm just going to stick the tag at the top. So again, let's just glue that one. I have punched a hole in this little tag and just threaded a, um, or just tied a piece of ribbon through just to give it some dimension and then by putting the glue on the back that just holds the ribbon down. So, oh gosh, let's position that. Let's move that up there. Okay, so that's the front of the flap that now lifts up. Now we've got to cover this um, back bit that we've stuck down and we're going to do that with the ruler and spotty border. So again let's put some, I'm going to trim it off after um, I've stuck it down. So put some tape on there. Lots of you have asked where I got my tape from. I buy it off the internet, well, on eBay, um, from a supplier in the UK. Uh, but I did have a look the other day and I couldn't find them, so I'm not sure whether they're still trading or not. Uh, but it's just um, a 33 metre roll of one centimetre wide tape. Nothing special about it. OK, now I'm going to just position this straight across and right up against the fold of the flap to hide it and all the way to the edges of the page 
and then I'm just going to trim that off with my scissors. Okay. So let's trim that bit off. And just trim that bit off there. So that folds down. Okay, on here, at the bottom of the flap, we're going to stick the semicircle that we cut out, and I've just put a bit of foam tape on the back of that. And um, I'm just going to stick it down in the centre. And then I'm going to stick the ruler across here just to hold the tag or the photo mat in place. So let me just do that and I'll be back. So I'm going to stick down the paper I'm putting on it. slots in my photo mat. Um, I've got lots or had lots of questions for um, about this punch that I use which is from our local hobby craft centre here in the UK. Um, Fiskars do one, I think it's called the corner slot punch available on eBay if you're or Amazon if you're interested. Okay let's just put the tab on the top of that. Pop that over like that. And then I left the back of that one completely plain and it just slots in there. So now all we've got to do is just the pocket at the bottom. So take your black piece of card that you've cut at an angle and stick on your front um, paper to decorate. So let's just do that stuck the paper on uh, just to save time and then I'm just going to peel these backing papers off and then we'll be ready to stick this down. Turn those off, turn it over and line it up with the bottom two corners of your page and press it down. And then just to finish off to make the book, let me just move that. Take your 8x8, 8x5.5 eight um, eight piece of card, fold it in half, and then I've cut a piece of paper to sit on the front of that, so let's just stick that down. So that's stuck down, and then I'm just going to use some tacky glue to put the characters on. Okay, let me just put that on the back and I'll be back. That's all glued up. So, stick them down, and then um, I did the same for the title, which I'm just going to put there. So that's the front cover done, I've stuck the title down. As I said inside, I cut out two more characters from the um, I can't think what it was called, was it the Games games and Playtime paper? And um, two pieces of note paper that I stained, stuck those down, and then on the very back, I stuck the ABC primer um, cut out. So let's just stick that down. And that's the page made. Let's just stick that down. Fold it up and put it in the. Oh. Make sure your characters are well stuck down. And that's it, ladies. That finishes that page off. So I hope you've enjoyed making that. Um, there's two more videos left, and we've made the full book. So I'll be back with those shortly. Thanks for watching. Bye.